everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to see about writing numbers in scientific notation. To have an idea, first look at this information regarding distances from sun to earth and the radius of hydrogen atom. These numbers have many digits and they are lengthy and need more space to write. Further, it is difficult to manipulate these long numbers. So we use scientific notation to concise such lengthy numbers so that our calculations will be easy. When you write a number in scientific notation, it has two parts. The first part is the number between 1 and 10 and the second part is a power of 10. Look at this example, 2,800,000. How to express this in scientific notation? All we need to do is moving the decimal point. Remember, in a whole number, the decimal point lies next to the last digit. Here, we move the decimal point forward until it comes between the first and second digits. In this case, between 2 and 8. Now, the first part of scientific notation is 2.8. How to decide the power of 10? See how many places we moved the decimal point or simply how many digits did the decimal point passed while coming front. Here, it has passed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 digits. So, the power of 10 we put as 6. Then, our answer becomes 2.8 into 10 to the power 6. Look at this. 5925.31 We first move the decimal point next to the first digit, that is next to 5. So, our number less than 10 becomes 5.92531. See carefully in this case, the decimal point has gone forward passing 3 digits. So, power of 10 is 3. Then, our answer becomes 5.92531 into 10 to the power 3. What if the number is less than 1? See this. 0 0.0056. Now here we move the decimal point back until it comes to the first non-zero digit. Non-zero digit is a digit which is not zero. You can see the first non-zero digit is 5 here. So bring back the decimal point to 5. Then our first part becomes 5.6. While coming back, we passed 3 digits. So, the power of 10 is 3. But, since we came back, we put the power as minus 3. Then, it is 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 3. Look here, 0 0.93. First non-zero digit here is 9. So, we bring the decimal place next to 9. Then, it becomes 9.3. We came back passing only one digit and so the power becomes minus 1, minus 1 because we came back. So that our answer becomes 9.3 into 10 to the power minus 1. Say this summary to remember what to do when you get a number to write in scientific notation. Now let's see how to convert numbers expressed in scientific notation to general form. All you need to do is to check the power of 10. If the power is positive, we have to move the decimal point back, the same number of positions as the index. Look at this example, 5.21 into 10 to the power 3. 3 here is positive, so we go back 3 times. That is 5,210. Now, see carefully. When going back, if there is no digit, 
we put a zero if needed. Look at this example. 1.9 into 10 to the power 2. 2 is the index and it is positive. So we go back twice. It becomes 190. Then if the power is negative, we move the decimal point front. The number of positions as the index. So if 5.21 into 10 to the power minus 3 is to be written in general form, we bring the decimal point front three times like this. Here also we can put zeros if needed. Then it becomes 0 0.00521. Finally, 6.35 into 10 to the power minus 2. We go forward two times. Then it becomes 0 0.0635. Hope I made myself clear with this scientific notation. See you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.